Hi, today I have another population genetics problem for you, and here is a problem. Within a population of butterflies, the color brown, that is capital B, is dominant over the color white, that is small b. And 40% of the all butterflies are white. Calculate the following. The percentage of butterflies in the population that are heterozygous and the frequency of the homozygous dominant. And here I have a picture. And as you see, uh, brown phenotype can be produced by two genotypes. One is capital B, capital B, and another one is capital B, small b. So one is a homozygous dominant and another one heterozygous. But both these two genotypes would produce one phenotype that is brown. And one phenotype, uh, white phenotype, can be produced by um, uh, homozygous recessive condition, that is small b, small b. And in order to solve this problem, uh, we are going to use Hardy-Weinberg formula. And um, this states that P plus Q equals to 1. And P here uh, represents B in our problem, uh, B capital. And Q represents uh, uh, frequency of the um, recessive allele. So as you see, we have only capital B and small b uh, in our problem. Those we have three uh, genotypes. All these three genotypes made by only two types of uh, alleles, that is capital B and small b. So also uh, 1 equals to 100%. And we have to keep it in mind in all our cal calculations. And here is a, a Hardy-Weinberg formula itself. So the frequency would be calculated as p squared plus 2pq plus q squared that equals to 1. And for the p squared we have homozygous dominant, that is capital B, capital B. For the heterozygous, we have capital B and small b. And for the Q squared, we have uh, homozygous recessive, that is uh, small b, small b. We also know from our problem that uh, white butterflies represent 40%, and if 1 equals to 100, that means that this is going to be 0 0.4 and this is going to be frequency of the white butterflies or homozygous recessive. And as long as we know Q squared, that is equals to 0 0.4, we can find Q. And Q would equal uh, square root of 0 0.4 or this is going to be 0 0.63 and uh, from this formula here we know that p plus q equal to 1 so if we know q we can find p and p would equal 1 minus q or 0 0.63 so P would equal to 0 0.37. And now when we know P and Q, uh, we can find uh, heterozygous uh, condition that is here. We know already P, we know Q. So we have to find, in order to find uh, frequency of the heterozygous, that is capital B, small b, According to our formula, it equals to 2 multiplied by uh, p, and p is 0 0.37, and multiplied by q, that is 0 0.63. And if we multiply all these numbers, we are going to get 0 0.47. So this is going to be frequency of the heterozygous. So we can put it here, 0 
47 and now we have to find frequency of the homozygous uh, dominant that is in our formula p squared so if we know already p we can find p squared so p squared would equal to uh, 0 0.37 squared or we can just multiply by itself that is the same and we are going to get here 0 0.14 so we can put frequency here as 0 0.14 and now if we add all these numbers we are going to get uh, 1.01 .01 that uh, number is very close to 1 and the small mistake that we got here is due to uh, all numbers that I calculated today we are rounded to two decimal places and if I use three or four, or four decimal places uh, the answer would be 1 exactly so we can ignore this small mistake and uh, let's return to our first question the percentage of the butterflies in the population that are heterozygous and here is a, a part of the formula for the heterozygous and we see the frequency here is 0 0.47 and 1 uh, equals to 100 percent so in order to give our answer as a percentage we just have to multiply this number by 100 so this is going to be 40 seven percent so forty seven percent of these populations of the butterfly would be uh, heterozygous and uh, the second question uh, the frequency of the homozygous dominant and p squared uh, stand for the homozygous dominant that is 0 0.14 and if we multiply it by 100 we also are going to get um, answer as a percentage that is going to be 14 percent so this is all for today thank you for your attention i hope if you would see analogous uh, problem on your exam you wouldn't have any problem to solve it please subscribe to my new video that i post almost every day goodbye